Prime Minister Modi has landed in Paris for a three-day visit, while on the other hand, the Defence Acquisition Council today approved proposals for buying three additional Scorpion-class submarines with higher indigenous content, and 22 Rafale M single-seater variant and four Rafale B twin-seater trainer version for the Indian Navy, along with associated ancillary equipment weapons simulator spares training and logistics support. The price and other terms of purchase will be negotiated with the French government after taking into account all relevant aspects, including competitive procurement price of similar aircraft by other countries. The deal will see integration of Indian designed equipment, and establishment of maintenance repair and operations hub for various systems. The CEO of BrahMos Aerospace has highlighted the potential for future orders of the BrahMos Air-launched supersonic missile from Russian Air Force, citing the absence of an equivalent system in their arsenal. Despite the admiration expressed by the Russian Air Force for the BrahMos ALCM variant, he also acknowledged that the current geopolitical situation might pose challenges for exporting Indian weapon systems to Russia, but the Russian Air Force might re-evaluate the purchase later. United Kingdom Italy and Japan are actively pursuing inclusion of India in the Tempest program, and as part of the collaboration, these countries are offering India access to a next-generation jet engine to power the AMCA, and this collaboration would grant India intellectual property rights and ensure a customized India-specific engine. The Tempest 6th generation technology demonstrator will fly within the next five years, and the British government is highly motivated to secure India's participation in the Tempest program, and there is a possibility for India to contribute to the development of the software for the Tempest. The DRDO has issued an expression of interest for the identification of an industry partner for the transfer of technology of the electronic warfare suite for Tejas Mark 1A. The EW system is currently undergoing developmental flight trials, and qualification testing of a few line replaceable units has also been completed. The supply chain for the line replaceable units subsystems and components has already been established, and production will start once developmental flight trials are over. After completion of user trials and medium fording evaluations, the Indian Army is now gearing up to upgrade its existing fleet of T-72 tanks by equipping them with a more powerful 1,000 horsepower operated engine and its associated systems, that will improve the tank's performance in challenging terrains and combat situations. For the first time, the Central Scientific Instruments Organization has repaired and refurbished the periscopes on the Indian Navy's attack submarines. The project took about one and a half years to carry out, and the refurbished periscope is currently undergoing trials on board the submarine.